firmly and shiftly. Um, what does it mean to be an adult? What do you think that means? I don't not, know. Not failing for tests, hopefully. Not failing for tests. I often think about this when it comes to education. Like, mm. how do we like? Are we in, are we involved in making adults, or are we just involved in teaching them stuff? I think it's inevitable that you would be involved in making them adults, but I think you more, like at least we're. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, uh, I think. Um, where, from my experience, where I taught here and in Israel, we're more, we're basically fighting to teach them stuff. Not even teaching, actually, teaching. Like, not f fighting, maybe, is not the right word. We're it's like the UFC? Yeah, yeah. I wish. We won every fight. <laughs> okay. No, they're kids, come on. <laughs> I could probably take 10. <laughs> I would not take 10, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, but I think. I think we're struggling in teaching them subjects instead of making them human beings. Okay, and yeah, it's very, like sometimes I think I should have a degree in psychology mm. instead, of, instead of behaviorism, which is education basically. Mm. You know, I agree with you. Look, I, it's just like, the challenge is where do you fit in like the like, how to be an adult stuff, and also like, is the goal of a school for everyone to leave as an adult? Because if so, we're, we're failing. Oh, like, definitely. wow. You know, I know lots of people who I was in school with, and I'm not trying to bag anyone in particular, but like, who just like never really grew up. It's not right? like, first of all, like, it's not just them. It's like, like you're younger than I am, but mm -hmm. it's also my generation like that and older people than me. I lived, I lived in a house where people in their late 30s do not want to commit to anything. So... Maybe commitment is a part of adulthood, I think. Mm. Maybe it's just, you know, there's a saying, uh, it's not, life is not how much you, um, um, how easy it is, it's how hard you can get it and continue on and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a big saying. But I think, I think for me, the most maturing experience was army, was army life. Mm. Definitely, the most maturing experience. Building a routine. Just building a routine. If a creative person can build a routine, like a very creative person, usually highly creative people are having a lot of trouble creating a routine for themselves. Oh, yeah. And if they were able just to create a routine to put a little bit of order to their life, they flourish. Mm. You know, I know one, like I know, I have a, I have a friend, a friend, he's a friend of my sister's. He's a drummer, okay? He's a really good drummer. Okay, when Israel, he lived in Tel Aviv, he was pretty messed up, for example. But he moved, at some point he moved to Berlin, but it's not the move that made him uh, organized, just the way he worked on himself. And then you come to his apartment, he let us stay in his apartment for seven days when we were there. His apartment is organized like hell, you know? He, he's, like he is, uh, he teaches uh, drums and he played in a band. And everything is so organized, and he has a place. He has creativity, but it's contained. Okay, he mm. can take his creativity skill and point it to a certain direction. Okay, we have a lot of creative children, a lot of creative students here. Okay, and our job—that's what I think—is create that frame so they could flourish. It's like it's like dancing. Okay, if you go to a nature party. Okay, which I have went for uh, one or two. A nature. Yeah, a bush party. Yeah. Okay, which I, I don't know what a bush party is. Well, basically, it's going to the nature, and uh, putting, a party. putting a big speaker, and everyone do whatever oh. they want. Okay, yeah. Usually involves not for me, but I saw a lot of other people doing um, drugs. Yeah. Okay, a lot of drugs, psychedelic drugs mostly, which are highly not, I do not support these things. It's very important to mention, it can mess you up sometimes. Yeah. I've seen people, my it messed up my cousin. Uh, anyway, um, so you got so you got these people, and they have no frame, they have no limitation. They have a lot of creativity. When they dance, it looks very messed up. Look very not messed up. It's not the word I'm looking. It looks very uh, balagan, very mm. messy. Okay, and That's they hit each other sometimes. I don't do that. And, uh, yeah, no, they just go crazy. Yeah. On the other hand, if I go to a salsa party, okay, with not even high quality of dance. Good dancers that taught, they were 
And high quality, I mean people that are competing in bands and stuff like that, and, and dancing events, and groups and stuff like that. So I'm talking about um, I'm talking about just people that learn for a month or two. Mm. It also looked a lot more. It looks a lot more organized, and therefore it looks a little bit more um, beautiful. Mm. And also, people are getting like are getting to a, a really high levels in dancing. It looks it looks nice. Okay, it doesn't look very messy, and and they. And the people that are highly creative, my old boss was that kind of person. Mm. He's a very highly creative person, okay? And suddenly, and, and he couldn't, and suddenly when you see the guy dances and he has a little bit of frame, mm. you can see, ignore the bow. So, so you can see that when he has a direction, it's beautiful. Mm. It is beautiful. But when it's just sort of all over the place, yeah. formless, it's not interesting. Exactly. I feel like that's, there's something philosophical about that, about like the form of it. But, yeah. but like, I get you. I feel like, you know, thinking about your drummer friend, was it the fact that he went overseas that made him into this organized person? Maybe he put some things behind him, maybe something mm. with his parents, I'd say. Because I think that, you know, you sort of need sometimes a bit of a kick in the butt to get your life in order. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And sometimes something needs to, sometimes you need like a big talk moment. You need like something like really serious to happen for you to think about like, ah, my status quo is really bad and I need to like fix it. Oh, I had it. Somebody kicked me, kicked me from their house. Really? Yes. Wow. So, so I had that kick. It was very much needed. Very yeah. needed. And that's, and that's like, I feel like a lot of schools, I mean, you know, like, I feel like sometimes we need to do that with students as well, not physically assault them, but like, sometimes you just have to be real with them. Like, if you keep giving people chances and whatever, you think you're being kind to them, but sometimes kindness is like, just being like, hey, well, like, this is reality and it's yeah. here and it's not going away. We're not, I think. That's adult. I think, yeah, I think we're not doing them any favors. No. We're nice to them. That's adult. Okay. I, feel like I love them. I love them, but love should come from uh, respect and it uh, should come not like, I don't like to force respect. For, it should come from respect, from knowledge, from experience, mm. and not from, 